Hi, this is Barbara with Life on the Scrappy Side. I'm here with my Graphics 45 kit. I know y'all ladies have been really waiting on this because I mentioned it on my blog that I was doing it, and I've had a lot of comments about it. I'm going to go through the paper right quick. Um, these are I'm going to show the Graphic 45 papers first because I've added some papers since um, the type of book I'm going to use. And these are absolutely gorgeous papers. They are going to come in this size that you're seeing. They're six by twelve. Uh, yeah, six by twelves. So you will get. Well, there's eight sheets of those. And starting right here, let me flip it around. I've got it upside down. This is actually some Debbie Mum papers that match this really well. I needed some extra papers to go with it, so I chose these. These are not double-sided, but they go very well with this kit. The colors are just beautiful with it. Um, it's like they were made to go together. So you have some of those. Uh, this one, actually, this last one is double-sided, and I don't remember who it's by. It's not with Debbie Mum's. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight of the uh, cardstock. This one is, um, I forget what that's called. You'll see it when you get it. <laughs> but that's your papers. Um, and I do have a specialty paper that I'm going to put in the kit. It has snowflakes on it and it's embossed. Um, it will not be this size. It will be most likely six by sixes because I've not been able to find any more of it. Uh, I wanted to give you one of the six by twelves, but so far I've not been lucky enough to find it. And then also, on these I could not bring myself to cut them up, so you're going to have either your uh, this one here or this one. And I realize they're not the same size, but whoever orders these kits first, you can have choice of what you want. Um, and they are double-sided, of course. And that's the way I'm going to work this, ladies, because I just, like I said, I couldn't bring myself to cut them up. Um, so whoever first come, first serve with those, you get choice. I am doing this as a um, Seven Gypsies chipboard book. Um, it's a five by seven. That is the reason I left the things like that. And uh, one of the ornaments that you're going to get in it is a little Santa Claus. Uh, not a Santa Claus. He's a snowman. And he has a little scarf. Really cute. I wasn't supposed to do that. I've done it out of order, but I had to show that. <laughs> And now going back to order here, everyone will get a full sheet of um, the stickers, their snowflakes and ornaments, and they have pretty bling in them. You're going to get the both of uh, you will get two of these, the um, stamp size. Yeah, I'm going to leave them in strips. You can cut, leave them in strips and use them as tags, or you can cut them up and use them as, um, well, y'all know how to use the stuff. <laughs> You're going to have choice, uh, not choice, but it's going to be one or the other of these in the kits. Uh, you can put them on the front of your books, whatever you want to do with them. Then um, you also have one each of these. And they're going to vary, of course. I'm pretty sure y'all are aware of how the Seven Gypsy paper, I mean the, not Seven Gypsy, Graphic 45 paper is. You'll get a variety of the chipboards. These are K and Company, actually. They just went very well with this book. And you're also going to get some chipboard, um, a frame, and um, some just regular chipboard pieces that I'm going to put in. I have not cut them yet. That's the reason why they're not here. And then over here is my ribbons and trink, uh, not trinkets, the um, trim stuff. There you go. That you can use. Uh, it's not as much as I usually put in it, but it is. It matches the kit so well. 
and I think you'll be happy with what you get. And right below there is the fibers that you'll be getting. My favorite one of those, though, I have to go back and say, is the one that looks like peppermint. It's a, um, this one. Oh, uh, yeah. I just, I love Very it. Very pretty. It, it looks like peppermint. It reminds me of peppermint. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have, each one will get a key and a locket. Um, can you see that? Hang on, I'm still on the <laughs> fibers. I'm trying to move too fast here, I think. But you'll get a key and a locket on a little trinket pin thing. And you'll get a snowflake. Um, this is metal. And these will vary in color. Um, there's several, there's gold bronze and then and there's bronze and, and copper. Thank you. You'll get a couple more of the paper things. Each one will have two. You're going to get a Tim Holtz um, acrylic. It's either going to be a square or a circle, which looks like a present or a bulb. You're going to get um, two of the one of the round Christmas bulb cards and a Christmas tree card, which opens so cool. I like this little card. It really opened funky. But you'll have that. Uh, a couple of little mittens. I just love those. You can use them as pockets if you like. And then over here you're going to get, this is actually a frame. This punches out, so you'll have a picture frame and then this punches out or you can leave it whole. You'll get, these are the several of the different little tags. You'll get uh, a couple little rounds, they're real tiny. They're really cute. There's a snowman and an angel. This one also is a frame that you punch this out and it's a frame. Uh, a tag with words. I think each one has that in it. Um, each one will get an ornament that is dimensional. They're going to vary in which ones. Uh, each one will have a... Three of these will actually have this color and then I have one that has a green one um, of the Christmas trees. I really couldn't decide on these so I put them both in. I just thought they were beautiful. One is like a, well it is an umbrella, and the other one is just a bubbly hangy thing that is really pretty. Um, I give you a lot of bling because of you having the Christmas tree in the bulb, um, wanting to decorate it. Of course you can't have Christmas without all these colors. You're going to get some of the, um, what you call these flowers? Poinsettia. Poinsettia flower jewels. Uh, bling and <coughs> some other ones. Then you have the little teardrop blings. There's four of those, one of each color. And of course your brads. I did put in a bottle cap because I just it, to me it needed it. <laughs> I just I can't wait to actually make one. I'm going to do one with some of the pictures of the paper in it. Uh, you'll get these little bobbles that you can hang on your book or on your pages. There's a little ornaments and a variety of the um, clips good variety of buttons uh, in the buttons you're going to get some little um, bulbs and then of course your flowers over there um, and that's pretty much it this is the flowers Oh, on the flowers, the the red and the green one over the big ones, uh, Lynn's fixing to show you, you will get one or the other. They will not be both. In green. You'll either get it in green or in red. red. And mm. you can actually use that as one flower or two flowers depending on your taste. Okay, ladies, um, I hope you really enjoy this kit. I had a lot of fun putting it together. And I think Lynn is going to be putting this online. Well, you'll know when she's got it online because she'll have it online. Uh, thanks a lot. This is Barbara from Life on the Scrappy Side. Have a good day.